Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, part two of Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. Uh, on the last episode, we uh, did the introduction of the game and made it to the civilization part of High Pool. <coughs> uh, this episode, I'm going to try to finish up the rest of High Pool and uh, basically see um, if we can get most of this done. Uh, in a timely manner, as soon as we can. Um, like I said, I'm not new to this part of the game, though I'm new to the game. Ranchers, you gotta help me. One of my wrecking crew mortars landed right on my roof. Please, you gotta figure something out. So this guy's roof is on fire, as you can see, and the way to fix that, if you want an extra XP, you can actually go to this, and if you have... hard, hard A, you can uh, talk him into letting you use this idea and you turn this on, there's a little bo a bit of bonus XP, especially since uh, with my build that I have, uh, I use Angela Deeth's death or whatever, I use her hard A skill, which I'm probably going to make that my hard A person, I don't know if I really want a kiss or a smart. Uh, I might put some, someone in some of that. Um, just so you all can see, I will go through all my people again. Uh, since we didn't really do that last video. Uh, this is based off of me. Um, coordination is 6, luck, luck is 5, awareness is 3, strength is 2, speed is 3, and intelligence is 8. The reason why I have intelligence is 8 so every time I level up you get more skill points. Um, one thing I'm excited about Wasteland 3 is Wasteland 3 doesn't do this from what I know and what I've seen. So I feel like when I'm playing Wasteland 3, I'll make it more realistic towards myself instead of putting all my people up to Intelligence 8, just because I want them to get the most out of each each level. But um, me, I have safe cracking, lock picking, and handguns. Um, probably going to focus on getting these things up to at least six each, and then maybe I might move to other things, might start upgrading my handguns a little bit higher. Uh, uh, this is based off of my fiance, and she has computer science and alarm disarming. Again, probably going to do the similar thing, get uh, hers up to like six, seven, depending on what I need it for. Um, this is based off of my brother. He is, uh, he went to college for a medical type stuff, so I figured this would be perfect for him to be. But he is our medic. Uh, I'm gonna put most of uh, his next couple levels into surgeon because, as you see in this video, we'll be using that a little bit later. And this is uh, my stepsister. She has toaster repair and demolition. I want my demolitions to be up a little bit higher because an area that I'm going to be going uh, maybe next episode, but probably not. Um, it's the last area where I played off my last game that I was playing. Um, I'm going to be we're going there, and you can use demolitions to change it up a bit, which I didn't have last game. So I'm going to boost her up a little bit higher in that, and then uh, Angela Deeth. You all know her stats. I don't think I've touched her since uh, I've gotten her, but I'm probably going to upgrade her hard A up a little bit more since brute force. If I have good lock picking, I shouldn't have to worry about that too much, um, and might do outdoorsman up to at least level 3, just so I can, can succeed more, um, so I don't have to fight, uh, I can fight less, even though, uh, it's a good way to make easy XP, from what I know at least. Like I said, I'm pretty new to the game. So, don't act like I'm a pro or anything. <coughs> um, this is pretty cute. Um, High Pool Underground. We're going to go do that now. Um, in here, you will uh, be facing a lot of bug-esque creatures. And it's good to 
make sure nobody's in the doorway when you go in because something that's annoying about it is if someone's in the doorway you can't enter into that area in a turn so when I'm my, when I first did this I had a lot of problems with um, just the whole thing because I kept blocking my people in front of the doorway and uh, it's getting pretty annoying but I think I, no, I know not to do that now this right here is a map uh, it's gonna ex kind of explain okay the map will not work I get that running out of time but you need to shut up okay it like only stays up for a second. Anyways, the map shows where you need to go. Um, pretty sure you go to the darker ones. So you go to 4, 10, 9, and 5. So in order to get there, I like to go through the first door to 2, because there's some loot you can get in room 2. I like to go to 5 straight to 9 after that, go to 8, hit 10, go back to 8, 7, 3, 6, 5, 2, 3, 1, back. That was very easy, but I'll show you. And I might do it a little bit wrong, how I counted, but in this room you're safe, you go in here, some pretty good loot, um, you need this valve for, I I don't remember which one it is. I think it's the five one. Even for one of them, you need a, a valve for because the valve's broken off. And this is where you find the valve. Uh, oh. So, I actually got lucky. Um, <laughs> this actually has an alarm on it, which I didn't know that last time. But my people won't stay on it. It has an alarm on it. Just so you know, uh, I almost messed up. Short barrel. Oh, uh, that'll be good for uh, her weapon mod. I'll keep that in mind. I don't know if I could be using it. It has a lot of drawbacks. And, uh, I'm very iffy when it comes to drawbacks, even though it's a big major part in the game. So anyways, back to the thing I'll show you. So, go through here, and the first room will be in here. I'm going to go in with my melee person first, and I'm going to try to get her into the room and away from the door. Bring all my people in. Just because I don't really remember exactly. Yeah, so there's bugs right here. And you can actually, if you get them stuck in the doorway, a bunch of attacks will be canceled out. It's pretty annoying, but uh, these guys are easy. You just uh, hit them a couple times, they're dead. They're some of the easiest enemies that I face in the game, especially when they just come up to you and basically say, "Hey, kill me." Keep in mind, I've never used uh, shotguns in this game, so I'm trying to adapt to that a bit. This is the first valve. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some loot around here somewhere. That, yeah. Tool bags that have okay stuff in it. Some selling stuff. Um, what I should have done before I came in here is actually sold some of my stuff because, as you can see, my Bradley character, me, for instance, is uh, pretty over over encumbered here. Yeah, that's not good, but it's it's whatever. Um, let's get all the people in. I don't really know what this guy, what she thinks she's going doing. I might just try it. Oh, right there, but I was not in the crossfire. Yeah, look at that. And then I can just... Oh, just two. That was a really good shotgun play with my weapons. Never I had the chance. And this place is kind of like a maze. This is the one where you need the valve for, so... Uh, have to make sure you grab that valve from room two. Uh, but 
a miss like I always do. there's a way to see my camp percentage in this one. I know in Wasteland 3 there is, which is another reason why I'm excited for it. Because missing is a big thing that uh that happens in this game that is that just gets pretty agitating. So I finally am in the last room. Doesn't look like there's anything to fight in here. Some things to search. Uh, I'm gonna give them to my healer. Again if you have a healer I would definitely recommend giving most of your stuff to your healer. Because um, me, I kind of don't let anyone else heal, unless my healer, which, kinda, I guess is kind of playing it a little risky, but, um, I don't know, I, uh, feel like if you build your heals right, you get more out of your healer's heal than you would any other heal. And a lot of times, like, well, there's, there's, there's some enemies in here, so I'm going to go in and get all my people in as fast as I can. There we go. Look at that. So I got them all in a pretty decent spot. Sorry, Bradley. Wow. Never mind, I guess. Wow. I don't know why she went all the way around to hit him, but okay. That was a very very lucky, uh, very, very lucky turn. Never, uh, never seen that happen before. That was, uh, very nice. Yeah. So we're back at the main room. You talk to her. She has you hit the valve over here. That's good. She goes outside, and we have just completed one of the biggest parts in High Pool that I've seen so far. Alright, so now that we have done the sewer underground area, there will be a mayor election like thing going on. And we're going to want to go talk to her. I always like to help her. Only done it twice. Um, we'll talk to the girl in here. If she wants these people gone, these are our kids. You can oh well, just talk to the dog, I guess. Laddie, you know, talk to Laddie. He'll give you something uh, for a guy we talked to in the first episode. Which I'll get to in a second. But Juvie. Little juvie. Give her smokes if you have some, but I like to go with the rest rocket and the marbles. Little slingshots, we can have some fun. And then when you're done with that, basically talk to her, say you're free, and then pick this lock. I said it's good to have a good person with lock picking. My guy won't do it for some reason, no. My guy won't do it for some reason. Let, uh, let her out. I don't know how I failed that. 95%. Okay. Have her on her team now. It's pretty nice. Uh, to get her, you're going to want to go into here. This is the owner who betrayed her, as she was saying. I'm gonna trade stuff with them. I'm gonna sell all my junk to them. That's good. We talk to him. Get the gear back for Snipey Woman. I can do that. I'm gonna wanna talk to him. I'm gonna wanna try to talk to him. I won't do it for some Like, I just literally won't let me talk to this guy for some reason. Okay, after you get him talk, you can say help. Looks much obliged. He can heal you for free, which is pretty nice. Give you all your health back. 
lost our diseases too. I didn't know if he did that part. Um, but if you have a medic, you can actually heal these people. Um, so I'm going to put all of this into the big loop. Into that. Heal these people up. Get back on done. Alright, I'm done. So he gives you the storage key. Uh, take all of that for my healer. And we're done with this room. Once you're back outside, Laddie will get out of my way. Talk to her. Uh, if you've done everything that I've shown in my video so far, you can uh, do the mayor stuff. Aye, aye, says everybody. Be nice. Um, so she is now the mayor. dog and his dog is found just down here. Uh, make sure whoever you have in your party goes with you because if you don't the dog will attack you and don't dig up any of those graves because the whole town will turn on you as well. Uh, you can talk to this dog. Maybe you want to talk to it outside. Yeah, you want to talk to him as a person with it and their inventory. You have a chew toy. Dog's good to go. Dog will follow you. What you have to do now is go back to Adam. Finish that. I can now we'll finish up another quest. So once you're done with Adam, uh, you give him his dog back. There's one more dog related thing you can do, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way back to the start of a uh, high pool, uh, where we met that guy by the trailer. Once you're back at the trailer area, you're going to want to talk to him, let him know that uh, found a soulmate, give him a picture, see his stash, and uh, hand some stuff you can buy. Nothing here is really uh, super good. This is kind of nice. Uh, if you have a pistol, $158 for that, but I don't know if it's worth it. I'll buy it just for fun, bungees, and uh, check it out and see what it's like. I don't want to give this to Buffy. Uh, All right, and uh, that basically wraps up High Pool. Um, the last thing we really have to do in High Pool that we can do right now is uh, restore the power, which I'll be doing that probably next episode, and protect High Pool from the Wrecking Crew, which will also be part of the next episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, 